55% of you don't subscribe. So if you like our videos, do us a favor and hit the subscribe button. If you do, then we'll be able to bring you more videos that are hopefully better and more attuned to what you want. It helps way more than you know. So just hit that little button. So, on to the next adventures. Um, I'm in Malaysia. <laughs> so, taking a bit of a gamble, like I said, that I might get a start at the T100 race. I wanted to do a heat block, um, so I was already sort of a couple of weeks into heat block um, before coming out here. And then, yeah, it kind of made sense. With Al coming out, it meant that I wasn't paying for like extra accommodation. Um, always wanted to go to Singapore. So yeah, seemed like, you know, a bit of a gamble. It's obviously a big chunk of travel, but we'll see. Hopefully someone might drop out and I might get a start. So yeah, we're now on second proper day here. So obviously long travel out sort of Sunday night to Monday. Had a bit of a shocker. <laughs> so we arrived around the same time that Alan and Aaron arrived in the Singapore airport. Um, and yeah, so they had hired a car. We knew obviously we weren't gonna get three of us, three bikes, etc., in a car, but we thought we'd see what we could get in, go from there. Managed to actually get the three bikes and a suitcase in the car. So I then had two suitcases. Initially thought um, it was super easy to get a taxi. It kind of, had I thought about it properly, like obviously like you are crossing a border, which I didn't really think about that much. Anyway, managed to then find a taxi that had the right permit. Got into the taxi and he's like, oh, have you done your entry form? I was like, no. And he's like, I assume you got your passport. And I was like, oh, shit. I'd put my little rucksack with all my stuff in the car <laughs> that Alan and Aaron were in and that they'd already gone off about half an hour, 40 minutes ahead of us. Um, so like quickly panicking, trying to ring them, had to like try and make sure I'd downloaded my travel sim properly to get data and oh, anyway managed to finally get hold of them and I was like I've been a complete idiot and they're like oh, okay we're just at the back of the queue for the border so we'll try and find someone to pull over tax drivers then like oh make sure you know what border they're at because there's two borders and um, they were at a different one to the one we were heading to so it took us like an extra 45 minutes to get there then because I was in like a taxi bus there's like a different place that they go to where the like passing like normal cars go so we tried <laughs> to go up the normal car one got like pulled over by the border people who are basically like you can't come through here you're in a bus I'm like well we're not in a bus but anyway it took like another half an hour where they were basically working out if they could go and just get the passport off alan aaron and bring it to me um Managed to finally get that and then got through and then got to the hotel finally about half past eight. So it took, yeah, four hours for what should probably be like an hour and a half journey from getting to the airport. But anyway, got here, it's really nice. Um, nice little hotel. Give you a bit of a tour coming out here. Uh, and yeah, and the hotel's got a 50 meter pool. Obviously not this one here, but yeah, just a nice little hotel. Um, and yeah, so it's got a 50 meter pool on site, no lame ropes, and the pool is about probably 33 degrees, I reckon. So it's very hot. So I'm not looking forward to our first threshold session tomorrow. It's gonna be a bit brutal. Um, but yeah, obviously nice to have less faff of having to like drive somewhere for a pool. And yeah, first day was all right. Managed to actually sleep till like 10 o'clock, which was pretty nice. Um, then just did, yeah, easy swim, easy bike, easy run. It is super hot and humid. Like you literally just step out the door and you're sweating. <laughs> um, but I guess that's why we're here. So, and yeah, all good actually. Body felt all right post-travel. And then, yeah, today was similar, like long swim. I had a few efforts on the bike. We then got absolutely drenched. It was like a massive thunderstorm. Uh, we actually pulled into a garage for a bit because like the thunder and lightning was right over us. We're like probably not the most sensible to be outside on the road in this. Um, 
actually it's quite nice, the room is quite cooling, so that was good. And then I had a little jog. Then had quite an interesting sports massage, which basically consisted of just being theragunned and stretched for an hour. Um, I actually feel all right from it, but yeah, is isn't really what I would call a massage. And yeah, just sort of settling in, trying to work out the best roads and some of the food. Yeah, we ended up having to order the food on one of the delivery things today and not that easy when you don't really understand what half the stuff is. So I made some slightly dubious choices. <laughs> but yeah, just getting used to having like curry for breakfast, lunch and dinner, which I actually don't mind. Um, but yeah, good so far, enjoying heat camp. So we made it to Singapore. Um, yeah, the hotel is really nice. Uh, so far, impressions of Singapore seems like a really cool city. Um, yeah, it's definitely like super green, seems really clean. Um, I mean, I've not seen much, but yeah, I literally saw the hotel and then walked across to the food court. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, gonna go riding later. So get to go and explore. Yeah, the rooms are lovely. Give you a little, little bikey. Um, get this nice view. Can't see much yet because it's quite cloudy. But uh, and then probably the best bit is the bath with a view. I mean, also got a toilet with a view. But <laughs> yeah, the bath with a view is pretty cool. Got Indy trying to get us a taxi to go swimming. Love it. <laughs> Working out how to put payment details on. Oh. It's 7.30 in the morning and it's already feels like we're in a sauna. I've been assured that this pool is a normal temperature, so I'm looking forward to a swim where I don't feel like I'm in a bath. Should be nice. Ready for briefing. There she is. Hello. Just waiting to cross. Got Rudy over there. Yeah. Would you like to be on my please YouTube? Please come on yeah. my YouTube, please. I don't know if I've ever been on a YouTube. Is this not going to launch? <laughs> this is it. This is going to launch Indies YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got anything interesting to say today? Um. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Let me think about it, I'll get back okay. to you. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, you're too cool. You're too cool. No, but I'm not racing, am I? You've got numbers. I've got a number. I reckon you've I've got a number. Cool. I think I'm going to rock up. up for as long as possible <laughs> until someone says no. And then you might just, you just see where I get it. to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just tell you people to try. Yeah. How does it feel? Ruth, not now. I'm, con one. I'm concentrating. Number one. You don't look like you're concentrating. <laughs> it was really great, actually. Um, I think I've lived my whole life for this moment, just to have number one. Stickers and tattoos are like, all over me. Um, are you so gonna one not time, wash I'm them not going to take my race with numbers off. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Oh, oh no, we might have missed some. <laughs> we were going back. 
I've found all of the big dogs here, <laughs> hiding. There she is. She's looking very smiley. <laughs> Don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Saturday morning, it's very early. I've not been up this early for a while. It's still dark, as you can see. So yeah, on our corporate visit yesterday, met some of the local cyclist team, and um, yeah, they invited me to the ride, so I decided that would, I'd sacrifice getting up early to go and have people to ride with. So yeah, just gotta go find them now. They've been doing some little laps around a little circuit, but then we're gonna do a, go around Singapore. But yeah, it's already fairly warm, a little bit dark, hopefully the sun will come up soon, but see how it goes. So it's race day, I'm not racing as you can see. Uh, so chief supporting duties today. Just seen Indy to send her down to get to Athlete Lounge and I'm walking down now. I'm on coffee duty. For some reason, lots of the cafes are shut today. Um, so yeah, I'm on the hunt for a little cafe to go get some bit of a double espresso for Indy. And then yeah, just help make sure she's got everything all set up and see what kind of split she wants and then time, go time. in front when they hit the pontoon that is 1012 meters all just round it up 1000 meters then they have 1000 meters to go or 988 and go down the yellow buoy line to the red buoy you will see down there in the middle of marina bay make a left hand turn and swim all the way down to the exit right out front of our t1 and t2 area down there in the expo area. So that is it for the swim. They will head out then on the bike course. It is eight laps of 10 kilometers and then finishing it out with a 6.1 run lap. Six woo, 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 woo. Three, number 10 from France. I'm looking for a show. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Athletes, you are now in the hands of the starter. On your marks. Really right, good. Jack Schofield. Here I am. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> what was that? Do you think I'm doing better than Jack? <laughs> oh, wait, see, what? You have to edit it. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Nope. So, we're nearly at the end of the swim. I found myself a little blagger to get my little media pass to get me closer to give India a little split. Uh, she's swimming really well. Uh, she's in like basically the second group. I reckon. Maybe like 30 or 40 seconds, but we'll get the split soon. But yeah, we've got a front group of Lucy, Lucy and Beck. And then yeah, it looks like basically Lottie, Indy, Haley, might have been someone else. So yeah, good swim so far.
time for a little swim pre men's race. Uh, we've got Sam doing a little, little warm up in there. Um, yeah, really cool pool. As you can see, the camera fogs up immediately. Humid this morning. Um, yeah, we'll see. I think more thunderstorms forecast today, but see how it goes. Right, down at the swim start, ready for the men's. Done all my jobs so far. Now I've just got to chill, wait for the start. Got some of the other wags too. Relaxed, ready? Not as much as you, <laughs> <laughs> but ready, yes. Ready. Yeah, yeah. Yep, they're all in there, getting nice and warm on the warm up. Um, still got a while to go. Another, another wagon waiting. Apart from she's got a proper camera. Wag. 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 <laughs> well, here we go, the main wag. man. I've heard you're going to be sensible today. Uh, I'll be trying to be sensible. Patient. No, actually, you're under strict instructions to go as hard as you can on the bike. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> to work more so. It's never ended badly for me before. Good afternoon, never. everybody, and welcome to the Singapore T100. <laughs> Supporter in full force. Got some warm up going on. Got all the other media. Heard of yoga with Adrian, but have you heard of yoga, yoga with Sam? Long? <laughs> good yoga, quite good flexibility going yeah. on. Then we got into the the hot tent in there. Everyone, so everyone getting nervous. Yeah, I was thinking, should I take my phone out? Then? We've got the main man. Looking very important. <laughs> All right, so welcome again down to the Singapore team. So hopefully that gave a little bit of insight into some of the behind the scenes. Um, yeah, didn't manage to get everything because of obviously trying to be concentrating on supporting and when you're trying to actually give splits and um, especially when the track is not working, that's obviously, yeah, things to think about, things to do. So yeah, probably didn't get everything that, <laughs> everything that I thought I might. Um, also didn't want to be just shoving a camera in athletes' faces when they're getting ready to race or they've just finished a race. So yeah, some of the stuff people ask for, I'm afraid. I wasn't going to get that because I've been there and it's not the most fun being asked to do that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed some of the some of the behind the scenes bits. Like really cool race, really well put on. Um, great place to come and visit. I'm not sure it's the nicest place to race, but definitely a cool city to come to. So enjoy.